Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we're going to train our back. As usual, we're going to start our training routine with dynamic stretching wherein I perform my greatest stretch routine for five repetitions each side. Again, you need to you need not at least hold the stretch for long periods of time. A hold for five to ten seconds is more than sufficient. Now that's the reason I have sped up the video a little bit. But otherwise, after the greatest stretch, we sit in a deep squat for some time, at least few 20 to 25 seconds, and then we can begin with our workout. If you prefer, you may also do five to ten minutes of cardio. That's absolutely your choice. But yes, that's more than sufficient before workout. Anything more than that. I would not recommend. Post completing our dynamic stretching routine, we can jump into our working sets or I mean the working exercises with warm up, of course. So the first exercise would be bent over row. Now, for the bent over row, I have performed two warm up sets with no weights, only the barbell. It's a very simple exercise. You take a barbell, stand straight, and slowly push your glutes as far behind as possible feeling the stretch in your hamstrings and once you have hit the limit you are almost parallel to the ground if not also it's absolutely fine and you start rowing from that position while keeping the load or most of the load stress on your glutes and your hamstrings and the weightlifting is being done by your entire back now you might feel a little bit or you might also uh, how do I explain this? If for any reason you're unable to do this, you feel like you're going to trip over, or trip forward, you can always perform rows on a bench, on an inclined bench with a couple of dumbbells. You need not do it with a barbell only. Some gyms also have bent over row equipment wherein you have a bench and a rod and you can pull the rod up until your chest and that's absolutely fine too. Otherwise, you can do the simple exercise. The only thing you have to keep in focus is not to load your lower back the load has to be on your hamstrings and your glutes. Once done with those, we move on to face pulls, four sets, 20 repetitions with smaller breaks, 45 to 60 seconds is more than sufficient. Higher repetition, but easier exercise. So break could be no, uh, smaller. Focus on the entire range of motion. Let the cable go all the way forward. And from there, you pull it back. Lead the movement with your wrist not just with your elbows so as you pull back completely your wrist should start pushing as far behind as possible to get the maximum amount of back contraction or the upper posterior chain contractions the reason why it's called a face pull is because you want the cable to come as close or even touch your face as uh, if possible so make sure that happens and always let your shoulders completely roll forward with every repetition while keeping the cable under tension as you can see here the cable is never completely under rest it's still pulling me forward and from there when i pull it back and my entire back has to work really hard to get it as close to my face as possible or even touch it once done with face pulls we can move on to seated shrugs for seated shrugs what i have done is i've done three sets starting off with 20 repetitions and once done with 20 repetitions with a particular weight i dropped the weight and went on to a lower weight basically a drop set and did as many repetitions as possible and then again so basically two drop sets every set and you complete three sets in such manner your entire posterior chain and your neck muscles will be quite strained by now because thanks to the face pulls and the shrugs even the bent over rows would have challenged you slightly so good way to build our posterior strength especially our upper back strength and as you can see here i always cue myself in terms of pulling my shoulders as close to my ears as possible anatomically it is not possible for me to touch my ears with my shoulders but that is what i cue myself to do and that helps me in terms of achieving the uh, maximum amount of contraction in my upper trap muscles now i'm using a strap because I don't want my grip strength to compromise the number of repetitions I can achieve as I'm doing drop sets. This would certainly take some time in terms of loading and deloading, but otherwise should be absolutely fine. You can also use gloves if you prefer to do so because the focus of the exercise is training our upper trapezium muscles. So grip strength shouldn't be an hindrance to your workout. 
make sure you're able to perform your drop sets. And that's it. We are going to finish off with pull-ups followed by vertical hang. The reason I chose to do close grip pull-ups is because this is where I'm strongest and I can perform clean pull-ups without much of a momentum swing. So yes, I chose to do close grip. Otherwise, you can also choose to do medium or wide grip pull-ups and that's absolutely up to you. Make sure you do three sets of these, as many repetitions as possible, followed by vertical hang. That is basically hang and hold there for 30 to even one minute and great way to stretch out your entire back. Yes, that's it. We are done with our workout. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like the workout, please do drop a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comments is greatly appreciated. Make sure you finish off on a high note and also perform the cool down of stretching out your lats. If you prefer to do any other way, that's absolutely fine. I just prefer to do the vertical hang. And that's it. That's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a great day.